Welcome to the world's most admired wine brands, 2024. Since its inception in 2011, the world's most admired wine brands has built up its reputation to become an authority among the global wine trade. Each year, Drinks International polls wine experts from all over the world to generate the overall ranking. The Academy includes independent buyers, sommeliers, masters of wine and journalists, and each member is invited to vote and rank the five wine brands they most admire based on the following criteria. The quality and consistency of the wine, the price to quality ratio, and the strength of the branding and marketing. Before announcing the list, our thanks must go to our sponsors, who you can see on the screen throughout the presentation. You can join the conversation on our social media channels as the countdown progresses. So, without further ado, let's get started with the countdown of the world's most admired wine brands 2024. At number 50, it's Bodegas Protos. Founded in 1927, Protos is fast approaching its 100th anniversary, and today the brand remains a market leader for Ribera del Duero, while also having wineries in Rueda and Cigales. At 49, from France, Chateau Lafitte is a veteran of this list, having featured in 12 of its 14 iterations. The winery has been in the Rothschild portfolio since 1868, and is a first growth property in Bordeaux. At 48, we remain in France. It's the legendary Georges Duboeuf. With its distinctive wine labels, this brand now produces more than 12 million bottles each year from the Maconnais, Burgundy and Beaujolais regions. 47 is a re-entry for Yalumba. Yalumba is Australia's oldest family-owned winery, founded in 1849, and 2024 marks its 10th year on the list. And moving on to 46 from Italy, it's Tignanello. This Tuscan wine from the Antonori family was the first to be aged in barriques, and famed for pioneering the movement of blending with non-traditional varietals. At 45, staying in Italy, it's Frescobaldi. As one of Italy's most traditional wine companies, its production history dates back more than 700 years, and today it has one of the most diverse portfolios in Tuscany. 44 sees our only entry from Germany, a winery that claims to be the world's first Riesling producer. It's a re-entry from the iconic Schloss Johannesburg. At 43, we reach our highest new entry award for 2024. From Spain, a warm welcome to Perelada. With a winemaking tradition spanning over six centuries, Perelada was the first winery in Europe to earn a LEED Gold Sustainability Certification. At number 42, we head back to France. It's the legendary Chateau Latour. This historic Poyac producer remains one of the oldest continuous wineries in Bordeaux, dating back to the 14th century. It's a re-entry at 41 and our first entry from New Zealand. Despite only launching its first vintage in 1991, Oyster Bay has quickly established itself as one of the world's most recognized wine labels. At number 40, it's another re-entry from Spain. It's Campo Viejo. This Rioja producer is synonymous with the Tempranillo varietal, which it showcases within its diverse range of wines. Moving into the 30s, at 39, it's another re-entry. It's Zonin. This Italian producer has 2,000 hectares of vineyards across 12 estates in 10 of Italy's best-known wine regions each aiming to demonstrate the terroir and winemaking traditions of the land. 38 brings us to Portugal. Congratulations to Symington! This family-owned business not only produces world-class fortified wines, but a portfolio of still wines, which have gained the respect of our academy. 
At number 37 from France, it's Gérard Bertrand. The brand champions vegan, organic and bee-friendly wines across their portfolio. This is the third successive year that this French producer has featured in the most admired honours list. On to number 36 from New Zealand, it's Craggy Range. This family-owned winery is situated in the shadow of the spectacular Tamata Peak in the premium wine-growing area of Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. At 35, we return to France. It's the highly prestigious Chateau Mouton Rothschild. A famous Bordeaux first growth, the brand is known for its artistic wine labels, which are displayed in a gallery next door to its vat room. We head back to Spain. At number 34 is Ramon Bilbao. As a leader in the Rioja region, this brand has recently focused on minimizing the use of fertilizers and pesticides and experimented with growing at higher altitudes as it looks to the future. At 33, staying in Rioja, it's Marques de Riscal. With vineyards all over northern Spain, Marques de Riscal is one of Rioja's oldest and most famous wine estates. The winery's on-site hotel, designed by Frank O. Gehry, remains one of the most spectacular in the wine industry. At 32, from Chile, it's Erasuris. This is the ninth consecutive listing for Erasuris, which was founded more than 150 years ago. As pioneers in the Aconcagua Valley, they remain at the forefront of Chilean winemaking today. Number 31, and up two places, from Italy, Ornelia. Redefining Tuscan wine and famous for its Cabernet Sauvignon-led Super Tuscan, Ornelia is part of the Frescobaldi family and has now featured in this list three times. Staying in Italy, at number 30, it's Planeta. Quite possibly the most diverse producers in Sicily, this wine grower can trace its heritage through 17 generations of farmers and nurtures 25 different grape varieties in a wide range of terroirs. Counting down into the 20s, at 29 from New Zealand, it's Villa Maria. This instantly recognizable Kiwi label is a legend in our prestigious list, having appeared 12 times in 14 years. 28, up 22 places, it's the famous Royal Tokai from Hungary. Established in 1990, it has become an authority in Hungarian wine and is now sold in more than 30 countries worldwide. At 27, appearing on every single list, it's M. Chapoutier. Famous for its Rhone production, but with vineyard holdings in France, Spain, Portugal and Australia, the focus for this family-owned producer is on making high-quality organic wine. At number 26, from the USA, it's Ridge. This California label has been making top-quality wines for over 60 years and specializes in Cabernet Sauvignon, Zinfandel and Chardonnay, most of which is distributed on allocation around the world. It's an entry from Chile. At number 25, it's Connoisseur. As Chile's largest Pinot Noir producer, which also focuses on Viognier, Riesling and Gewurztraminer, Connoisseur has now featured in this list an impressive 10 times. At 24, it's time to announce the most admired wine brand in North America. From the USA, it's a re-entry for Jackson Family Wines, which is an umbrella for 40 wineries, though our voters predominantly celebrated the semi-eponymous Kendall Jackson brand. On to number 23, it's a non-mover from France. The renowned Northern Rhone producer E. Gigal was founded at the end of World War II and remains family-owned today. At number 22, it's another non-mover from France. Chateau Petrus has just 12 hectares at his Pomerol estate, which is world famous for its exceptional Merlot. At 21, staying in France, it's Louis Latour. 
This burgundy producer dates back to the 18th century and with more than 25 hectares, it is the largest Grand Cru owner in the region. We've made it to the top 20 with this renowned Australian brand. Up 10 places, it's Henschke. Now in its sixth generation, Henschke owns some of the oldest vineyards in Australia and holds a focus on organic and biodynamic practices. At 19, it's Spain's Faustino. With plans to build a new visitor center in the heart of Rioja, Faustino is responsible for more than 40% of the region's Gran Reserva exports across more than 70 international markets. On to number 18 from Chile, we have one of Chile's heavy hitters, Montes. Founder Aurelio Montes set out to showcase Chile's potential as a producer of high-quality fine wines. Having achieved this original goal, this forward-thinking winery now has a staunch commitment to sustainability. Bouncing into number 17, it's another Bordeaux classic, Chateau Aubriand. A first growth and undoubtedly the most revered property in the Grave area, these wines have impressed a plethora of influential figures from Thomas Jefferson to King Charles II over the years. At 16, we head back to New Zealand. It's Cloudy Bay. The brand that put Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc on the map, Cloudy Bay remains a benchmark for quality in this category. And into our top 15 brands, it's Chateau Cheval Blanc. This famous Saint-Emilion estate in France has redefined the importance of Cabernet Franc in Bordeaux and has now featured eight times in our prestigious list. At 14, from Chile, it's Concha e Toro. This giant of Chilean wine production has appeared on every single edition of the most admired list since its launch in 2011. Founded in 1883, Concha e Toro now has 45 vineyards, nine cellars, and three bottling plants. It's a re-entry at 13, where we see Lebanon brand Chateau Mouzard. After a two-year absence from our list, this winery is approaching its centenary year and sits just 24 kilometers north of Beirut. At 12, we reach the announcement of two awards. The award for highest climber in this year's list, plus the most admired wine brand in Africa and the Middle East. Congratulations goes to Canon Cop. Rising 31 places this year, Canon Cop is one of South Africa's legendary wine estates famous for its Pinotage and Bordeaux blends. Seen by many as the premier crew of winemaking in South Africa, they have only been making wine since 1973, which makes its rise to the top even more impressive. At number 11, from Spain, it's La Rioja Alta. In a region packed with winemaking heritage and skill, La Rioja Alta is one of the benchmark brands against which other Rioja producers can test themselves. This producer only uses hand-harvest fruit from their own vineyards. Its appeal lies in an easygoing, fresh, modern style of wine. We've made it to the top 10. At number 10, we return to Italy. It's Gaia. The Gaia family has been making wine for five generations. The brand name evokes excellence, and they are renowned for making world-class wines at world-class prices. At number nine, it's back to Spain. CVNE is a legendary producer of Rioja and has a terroir-led approach in winemaking. Established for over 140 years, they are the proud owners of a cellar designed by Gustav Eiffel. Number eight is a mainstay on our list. From France, it's the famous Chateau Margaux. Another Bordeaux first growth, located in the Medoc region. The brand has been owned by the Mencilopoulos family since 1978. Staying in France, at number seven, it's Domaine de la Romaine Conti. This famous producer, fondly referred to as DRC, makes wine in almost microscopic amounts from seven tiny vineyards around Von Romanet in Burgundy. 
At 6, it's another legend of the list. From Spain, it's Vega Sicilia. This winery is often referred to as the Spanish equivalent of a first growth and produces world-class wines in the Ribera del Duero region, just southwest of Rioja. And now, the top five. At five, up seven places for this French producer, it's Chateau d'Iquem. This premier cru supérieur is based in the Sauterne, in the southern region of Bordeaux. Its wines are characterized by complexity, concentration, and sweetness, which is balanced with acidity, and this result matches its highest ever in this list. At number four, from Italy, Antinori. Our highest-ranked Italian brand on the list can trace its winemaking heritage back to 1385 and helped kickstart the revival of Tuscan wine interest internationally. Congratulations to Antinori! And on to our podium. At number three, we have a non-mover and our award for the most admired wine brand in Australasia, claiming the title for the 12th time. Congratulations! to Penfolds. Based across southern Australia is Penfolds, the heartbeat of Treasury Wine Estates, which has been a market leader since 1844. At number two, taking the award for the most admired wine brand in South America. From Argentina, it's Catena Zapata. Another non-mover in this year's list, this family-owned Argentine brand is synonymous with the Malbec grape and a previous winner of this list. And so, now it's time to reveal that the number one world's most admired wine brand 2024 and taking the award for the most admired wine brand in Europe is the almighty Familia Torres. This is the seventh time that Torres has been awarded the number one spot in this prestigious list, more than any other brand. Spain's most famous family-owned wine company is highly regarded throughout the world due to its impressive consistency, quality and sustainability standards. That concludes the countdown for 2024 and huge congratulations once again to all our top 50 winners. Thank you to the Academy for their time in voting and to our sponsors for all their support. Please join in the conversation and let us know your thoughts through social media. And you can find the full results online at drinksint.com and in print with our celebration supplement released next month. Thank you for watching and we will see you next year.